Hi guys, this will be a quick demonstration of the uh, corporation tax module. As you can see on screen, this is where we have the CT600 submission summary, uh, as well as our client list just below. So uh, again, guys, obviously, if you need to set up your clients, there is an option to have that bulk imported in the My Admin portal, or you can go and add them in one by one by clicking on plus client here as well. Once the clients are all set up, they will be linked over here directly. So if I click onto one of my clients, uh, this will then take them into their specific dashboard. As you can see, so I've got their company details, tax summary on the right, as well as any previous uh, CT600 returns that we've generated. And under the ta tasks on the left, this is where we can create a new uh, CT600 return. So if I click onto this button over here, I can fill out all the details respective. So I've got my re reference number, description, form type, which can either be a short or full account. Uh, I've got my return type, either new or amended, and I've got the import. So with KPM, um, of course, as it is an integrated software, very uh, you know good USP behind this software is the fact that you can just bring that directly across from the accounts into corporation tax, or alternatively, you can use manual. Uh, of course, with the accounts, I will use that in this showcase. Um, the additional benefits of using the accounts production as opposed to manual is the accounts will be directly imported for you, thus certain figures will be automatically calculated for you as well. Uh, because with the manual, there's just extra steps, you know, and it's always more time, which again, costs more money, right? So it's always best to just kind of cut corners where you can with the software. So this is where you'll see we can edit the CT600. So we've got the quick entry as well as the main board. So quick entry is quite self-explanatory. So this will enable you to make any quick adjustments and calculations within the CT600 form that you're generating. So as you can see here, we have our calculators. We've got the trained professional profits. And as you can see, we've got turnover, profit and loss. So certain figures will be automatically calculated based on the accounts that we selected. Uh, and again, if you need to add in any additional calculations, you can click on the calculator icons and then add in the entries in and click save and then save at the bottom to have that fully applied. Uh, we've also got losses and deficits uh, as well as the capital allowances. And if you obviously use the fixed assets register in the bookkeeping, the capital allowances can synchronize into corporation tax as well, which is very handy. Um, as well as that, we've got the uh, R&D claims, of course, which you can click OK and add those details in. Um, you've also got uh, the ability to add any additional attachments. So if you're doing the accounts for a different period, you can select that from a tick box over here, or you can select a reason if you're not attaching your accounts uh, within the system as well. Uh, aside from that, we've also got the ability to add any additional files to our CT600. So if you're doing it manually, for example, that can be done. We've also got the reports where we can download the computation file, see how that's all calculated. And we've got the accounts report, uh, which will be uh, attached here directly as well. Uh, aside from that, we've also got the main form. So main form, this is where we have page one up to page 11, which has all the comprehensive uh, kind of breakdown of the CT600 form, if you may. And page two is where we have our uh, supplementary forms. So if there's any additional forms you'd like to go through in the system and add them in, uh, this is where we can go through and have them selected. So if I select, let's say loans, and arrangements, group consortium, and research and development, right? So I've just selected these three um, as an example. And once I've selected them, they will automatically populate at the top here as well. So if you need to remove them for any reason, you can always just go back and have them unticked and they are now. So once, of course, you've edited the CT600 to the standard that you require, you can then, uh, before you do, uh, there is an additional option where you can get that e-signed. So with KPM, we do offer the additional benefit of CAPI sign, which is very helpful. So if you want to get any of your documents e-signed uh, with your clients um, directly, you can have that uh, by just going to the action on the right, send to CAPI sign, and that will then take it to the external portal where your clients can get e-signed by email or via the KPM Hub portal, which is free access. So once, of course, that's been signed, for example, you can then go to submit on the left here, submit CT600. And uh, just to clarify, guys, when you submit anything to HMRC, there will be a pre-validation status report. So this will flag up any potential errors or mistakes that you may have. 
within your CT600 form. So it's like a traffic light system. So if anything comes up as a red issue, that means you have to resolve it. Otherwise, the system will not let you send it. So you just have to click on this link to resolve. It will take you directly into that section where you can resolve that issue and then go through the submission. If it's amber, that means you have the option to resolve it, but the system will not prevent you if you don't obviously resolve it. So there will be a skip and continue button, hypothetically, if this was amber, for example, right? And green, obviously, that means that everything's fine. You can go through and have that submitted. And aside from that, guys, once you pass that, you can have that submitted directly to HMRC, either using your own or your client's government gateway credentials, and that would be that. Uh, but aside from that, guys, that was a quick showcase of the corporation tax. And thank you for watching.